And we begin tonight with reaction to Governor DeSantis' decision to strip power from local governments and abolish all pandemic safety protocols statewide. West Houston House Brown looks at the order and how Orange County leadership is reacting. While Florida reported more than 3,000 new COVID-19 cases Monday, Governor Ron DeSantis claimed the pandemic state of emergency is over. He signed executive orders giving the state new power over local governments. The bill ensures that neither the state nor local governments can close business or keep kids out of in-person instruction unless they satisfy demanding and continuous justifications. Um, and most importantly, as governor, I'll have the authority to invalidate a local emergency order if it unnecessarily restricts individual rights uh, or liberties. Orange County is one of the few locally that has kept a mask mandate in place. In a new statement, Mayor Jerry Deming says, I want Orange County residents to know that I will continue to make decisions in the best interest of their health, safety, and welfare, and will not wait on the governor to tell me what to do. In the county's regular COVID briefing, he expressed frustration that the governor chose again to announce major changes without alerts to or collaboration with local leaders. That has been the MO uh, for the governor for quite some time now and the, the residents of Florida deserve better than that. Dr. Anthony Fauci gave his take on the executive order to West 2 sister station WBAL. I would just encourage all the communities don't pull back prematurely. Make sure that you continue to get people vaccinated because that's going to be the, the ultimate solution. Mayor Deming said county government will continue to review its statutory authority and respond accordingly. Reporting in Orange County, Hadass Brown, WESH 2 News. The governor's orders also prohibit businesses from requiring proof of vaccination or testing to enter a property.